I don't feel like I need to come here and justify making cauliflower soup once a month at home. All right? So I think this might be Dan's best ever recipe. The science is just so smart. Since cauliflower tends to get sweeter as it cooks, we're gonna add this in two stages. That way we get some of that grassy, just cooked cauliflower flavor and some of the sweeter, nuttier flavor of the long cooked cauliflower. The fact that the first time I made any batch of the soup and, and pureed it up and it was silky smooth was also fascinating to me. The texture of any pureed vegetable soup largely depends on the amount of fiber within the vegetable. So cauliflower actually happens to have relatively low fiber, so once it's pureed, it becomes nice and creamy. So there's really cool parts of cauliflower that I, I discovered through all of this, that it's like really low in fiber and especially insoluble fiber, which can add a real grittiness to, to soups. And a lot of times that's why you add fat and cream to them. Everybody assumes that there's like cups and cups of cream and there's actually zero, zero, remember that, zero dairy in this recipe. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of a little bit of butter, but you know, there's no milk, there's no half and half, there's no cream in it. And that's really just the cauliflower that's providing this incredible velvety texture. There's no straining, it comes together like butter, it's velvety. You don't have to do a lot to make this soup taste great, it just is beautiful.